Hey guys, it's Future Techno here. Um, I'm just wanting to let you guys know I didn't get to go through all of the full patch notes. Uh, turns out they did a full overhaul on multiplayer. Please go down in the description and click on the full link to Charlie Intel's Twitter. He has the full update over there. I didn't get to go over multiplayer, and I know that's a shock. I do multiplayer, but what I had actually thought was multiplayer was actually just campaign. So, um, you know, big goof up on my bad. I'm sorry, guys, but um, this is late after I already had the video rendered out and everything, and it, it's going to take me all night to be able to redo it over. So I'm just adding this part here. So please be sure to check down in the description, uh, click on Charlie Intel's Twitter, and you'll be able to read all of the patch notes for the game as of right now. Uh, for further fu uh, for future videos, whenever patch notes come out, hopefully I'll be able to get all of the stuff uh, when I make the video that time. So uh, yeah, but everything else in the video has actually happened. I just wasn't able to go over multiplayer. Uh, so yeah, again, sorry, and uh, yeah, enjoy the video, guys. Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to go over a couple of things, including the very first patch that's already happened for Call of Duty Vanguard. I'm also going to be going over a glitch that people are using to get the mastery camo for, you know, multiplayer and zombies. So let's get into the full video. Let's start off with the glitch. Now, there's been this, I've, I've seen it all over YouTube and YouTube shorts and over on Twitter as well. There's a glitch that's going around that allows you to get the mastery skin from multiplayer and zombies by using a mouse, a keyboard, and a controller. I'm not going to go over how to do it because I'm not going to be responsible for anyone getting banned. Uh, again, I myself am not going to be doing it because I personally do not care to do it. I, I, I just, I don't, the camos look like shit. I, and that's my opinion. But, you know, I know a quick look up on YouTube. I'm sure you'll be able to find it if you really, really want to. Um, I'm also going to split another game onto the end of this video because I have a quite a bit to go over uh, this first round uh, went by really, really quick. So, you know, let's get into the patch notes. I received these pictures from Charlie Intel on Twitter, so be sure to go check them out. I'll leave a link to his Twitter down below in the description. These are uh, the updates as of November 10th, 2021. I want to say that November 10th. So, and the campaign mid-level checkpoint save data has been invalidated. Note, players have not lost all of their campaign progress. Save loads will deliver players to the beginning of the latest level rather than their last checkpoint. Users unable to redeem codes for incentives such as XP bonuses, calling cards, and emblems can now be redeemed rewards. Combat shield will now protect players' backs once stowed. I guess it wasn't doing that beforehand. Invisible player models and MVP voting and play of the game have now been fixed. They fixed the bug affecting Constance's skin progression. I'm probably saying that wrong, but I uh, don't care. I uh, don't know who Constance's is. Maybe it's an operator. I don't know. Uh, operator challenges no longer appear to reset after completion. Inaccurate unlock requirements for weapon challenges now display correctly. 1911 pistol will now progress past level 50. Apparently it wouldn't before. Weapons can now be accessed in the loadouts slash gunsmith after level 66. Now, that's all for the campaign and I'm assuming multiplayer as well. Um, so this next picture that's going to pop up is all of the stuff for zombies. Um, the camo progression uh, for zombies, all pistol challenges can now be properly completed. The kill count to exfil now correctly tracks zombies being killed. Apparently it wouldn't beforehand. Uh, the bleed out meter when being self-revive, uh, it no longer fails to show progression of being revived. Uh, players that die outside of the damage barrier no longer take damage over time upon reviving in the hub area. I had a match one time where I actually believe I was recording. I had a player that just continuously died because we revived him in the hub and all he would do was just die when nothing was hitting him. It's crazy. 
Um, the legendary covenants, all players would uh, should now be able to receive legendary covenant options at the altar of covenants. I don't know why that wasn't in the beginning uh, to begin with. <laughs> After action report, players are no longer returned to the lobby when attempting to view post-match unlocks and field upgrades addressed an issue where players who recovered from being downed were unable to use field upgrades in rare instances. Now, I'm also going to talk about a couple of things that people have said where uh, it doesn't launch on PS5. So the game now doesn't launch on PS5. So, you know, those are all the good patches. Those are all the good patches. Uh, these these are now the negatives. So the there have been reports of people saying that after the patch up went up went live, it no longer the game no longer launches on PlayStation Five. Uh, some people had lost progress on guns and operators during their uh, you know on PC that they've lost. Uh, you know experience and all their progress they made on operators and guns and stuff like that which affects me because i'm on pc i haven't had that problem personally but this is just what people are saying on twitter um some people were saying that if you want to launch the game on playstation 5 you have to then go into the go go make space on your hard drive and then try relaunching the game and it'll launch it that way some people said Oh, I went into Call of Duty Cold War and launched the uh, Vanguard through Cold War and it worked. Uh, personally, I don't know how that works because when I know they have them in the 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 main menu, they have all of the games. They have Modern Warfare, Warzone, Cold War, and Vanguard all on the home screen, right? But every time I try to launch one game while I'm in the other one. It closes it out on PC, and um, nine times out of ten, it won't even launch the next game that I click. And when I have to go manually launch it myself, it doesn't want to connect to the game. Like it'll sit there loading forever, and I'll have to close it out and try to relaunch it again. So I don't know how well that part works, but um, you know, the again, this is just the first patch. I know this game's real brand new. Came out again on the fifth <laughs> and it's already got a first patch but the thing is is this first patch broke the game for some people now there are problems where people had uh their xbox three xbox one bricked with cold war um they had their playstation 5 bricked personally i knock on wood i am not wanting to chance it i haven't bricked my pc um Thank God, I don't even know if you can, but, you know, it never crashed or broke or corrupted my PC in any kind of way. So, you know, again, knock on wood for that. But this is outrageous. I mean, this is two years in a row where people can't launch the game after the first patch. That is essentially the first patch broke the game. This has got to stop. Activision, you're selling subpar games. Yes, I get it. It's brand new, all that, but this is stuff that should have been at least fixed after after the beta. I mean, at least Cold War was more playable than uh, Vanguard. But you know, I'm running out of time. As a matter of fact, probably I'm not running out of time. I I actually have a long ass sequence I have to go through because we have to vote for the MVP again. I don't get this whole MVP voting process. What does it do? The the MVP should just be the person that got the higher score. That's how it used to be. That's I don't get it. <laughs> and then the, most of the time during the the thing, I will say the most people to get voted MVP are just people who have the most multi kills. At least that's what I'm seeing on out of all the games. The people who get the most multi kills, they get the MVP. You can have the highest KD or ED or the highest kills. It doesn't matter. They'll the board person with the most multi kills get it but i'm out of time i'll see you guys in the next one subscribe share peace